Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve problems like what is half of 2 to the power of 22 or what is half of 4 to the power of 22 or as a third problem what is half of 10 to the power of negative 12. Let's start with our first problem what is half of 2 to the power of 22. Usually when you want to find half of a number, let's say you want to find half of the number 8, then you just take the 8 and divide it by 2. So let's do exactly this here as well, although our number looks a little bit more complicated, but we take the 2 to the power of 22 and divide it by 2 to find half of this number. And now we only have to simplify this a little bit to find one of these answers. We have a power in the numerator and we can write this number here as a power as well. So we don't see an exponent here, but then we know that there is a 1 as our exponent. So we have a power divided by a power, the basis are the same, which is great because then there is a rule that tells us that we can just keep this base, the 2, and then we just subtract the exponents. We take the 22 minus this exponent down here minus the 1. So in total we have 2 to the power of 22 minus 1 equals 21, which is result B. What is different here if we want to find half of 4 to the power of 22? Well, first of all, nothing changes. We just take this number and divide it by 2 as well to find half of this number. But this time we have base 4 here and here we have base 2. So the bases are not the same. But the good thing is that we can write the 4 in base 2. So we can write the 4 as 2 squared. This is the 4 and then we have to raise it to the power of 22. So we have to write this in parentheses and raise it to the power of 2. We just wrote the 4 as 2 squared so that we have base 2 here and we also have 2 in the denominator. If you want to write it as a power as well, we have 2 to the power of 1 again. But here we have these parentheses, so it's not one power. We have a power raised to another power. So I would like to apply a rule to get rid of these parentheses first. And there is a rule that tells us that we just keep the base as it is. And then we are allowed to multiply the exponents. So we have 2 times 22, which equals 44. And then in the denominator, I have 2 to the power of 1. Now we are in the same case again, where our bases are the same. We now know, oh nice, we can keep the base and just subtract the exponents. 44 minus 1 equals 43, which is answer D. And then in the last example, everything is a little different. <laughs> so let's see what do we have here. What is half of 10 to the power of negative 12? Okay, first of all, we breathe. We take this number, 10 to the power of negative 12 this time, and divide it by 2 to find half of this beautiful number. What is the problem this time? This time we have base 10 here, and here we still have base 2 if we write it as 2 to the power of 1 again. But the problem is that we cannot write the 10 as 2 to the power of something. We cannot write the 10 as 2 to the power of 3 or 4 or whatever, because the 10 is not a power of 2. So we cannot get the same basis. 
Okay, what else can we do? Um, there is a possibility to do something with this expression here, but I take different uh, numbers to show you what I want to do. So let's say you have something like 3 to the power of 5. Then this is a short version of saying I have 3 multiplied by 3, again by 3, by 3 again, and by 3 again. So 5 times. Let's say I want to take one of these threes out of this package. So I only want to have these four threes in a package. So I can write these as three to the power of four. So I took one three out of this whole power. So I can write it as three times. This is my green three. And then I have a rest of three to the power of 4. So instead of 3 to the power of 5, I can take 1 out of this power, and then I don't have to the power of 5 anymore, but 1 less to the power of 4. And I want to use this here. I want to take a 10 out of this package, out of this power. So I take 1 10 out of there. And what is the rest? Well, we just saw that I have to decrease my exponent by 1 then. I still have the same base, the 10, but I have to decrease the exponent. I have to subtract 1. Negative 12 minus 1 equals negative 13 then as my new exponent. I took 1 10 out of here. My 2 is still in the denominator. And now I have a product here. I am allowed to reduce this fraction. 10 over 2 equals 5. So that in total I have 5 times 10 to the power of negative 13. And this is answer D. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.